Yeah. Are you guys Christians? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Do they, do they? Yes, what are you gonna do? Alright, cool. What, yeah, here. okay. Carter, thumbs up. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Nice. Yeah. Allah. It's what? Well, Allah isn't the God of the Bible, so you're not a Christian. Yeah. No, so, no. so what do you? Are you a Christian or not? I'm a Christian. Yes. But he's not. I think that was just a joke. Uh, as, to my knowledge, he is. Oh. I think he's just messing around. I'm yeah, man. Sure. I'll talk to them about it. Do they do they teach you guys about abortion in, at this school? Um, no. Not really, no. It's a personal issue. I mean, it's mass murder going on in this community in the in the Atlanta area. And we should be speaking up for the babies, right? Because they don't have a voice. They need people who have voices to go out and be a voice for them. For sure. Yeah, I encourage you to think about how you're going to do that. Well, you can. Are you saying you can't because you're a dude? I mean, yeah. This is, this is a man's issue. Men are to be protectors and providers for women and children. We should be speaking out against genocide when it's going on, right? We should be protecting the weak. These children are the weakest members of society and they're being targeted for mass murder. So if, if men just stand by and watch while that happens, they're being cowards. They're not fulfilling their duty. Or all lives matter things stand to like people of color, people, yeah. people, yeah. people as well. Yeah. Right, right. Just... All right, yeah. And uh, what what is your faith? What do you put faith in? Um, why do you ask? Um, this is how I engage people. I address their worldview, um, and I it's a good conversation starter. I'm a Christian. I was raised Christian. Yeah. What do you believe now? I'm still trying to figure that out for myself. Okay. Well, I'd encourage you to not trust in yourself because you could always be wrong, right? Because sure. you have a finite... You have a finite limited consciousness. I have a finite limited consciousness. We don't know everything. So if we trust in ourselves to try to determine what's true, we could always be deceiving ourselves, right? Okay. So we have to trust yeah. in what the all-knowing being says, Yahweh. And he reveals that in his word, the Bible. You gotta put your faith in what the Bible says. You you can't be justified in believing things to be true. If the biblical worldview isn't true, the knowledge isn't possible. Yeah, well. Um don't you also think that it's uh it's a person's choice to decide whether or not they want to have a baby like what if they were assaulted and they get pregnant? Well, the thing is, they are, if they're pregnant, they already have a baby. It's not deciding whether or not they want one. There's already a baby there inside of them. So we have to respect so, the baby that's living inside of them and not murder the baby. What, you t I, what I'm getting out of this is, so you know when a embryo gets infected, it turns into a bunch of stem cells first. Well, it's, a, it's an embryo. So you're telling me that a group of stem cells is more important and has more rights than a living... A uh, human person with a consciousness and with a brain and with a current living um, impact on society is less important than a group of stem cells or even a heartbeat that has yet to develop a consciousness. Well, it's not just a group of stem cells. It's a, it's a new human being in the first stage of life that we all have to live in as part of the normal process of growing as a human. That's the embryonic stage. And so we shouldn't discriminate against them just because they're less developed and they have different physical characteristics because everybody has to live in that stage. What if they have a miscarriage? Does, does that count as accidental murder? Well, there's no such thing as accidental murder because murder is the intentional unjust killing of a human being. And so, so a, 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 a miscarriage is a tragic um, death of somebody, but it's but that's not the abortion. That's not abortion. That's not the intentional killing of a human that I'm that I'm speaking out against. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Do you mind if I pose a scenario to you? Sure. Let's say I'm walking down the street. I get assaulted. I have passed the stage of maturity where I have a menstrual cycle and I get pregnant. Yeah. If I want to not have that person's child, would it be would I have to carry that baby to term? Uh, yes, you should love your baby. That baby needs nurturing and care and support. 
through every stage of life just like everybody else and we shouldn't discriminate against that baby and destroy so that baby if I got if I was assaulted and or was deeply traumatized because of something that happened to me and was forced to carry this person's child you're telling me that that's the right thing to do even though I would be mentally scarred for life yes you shouldn't think about yourself you should think about other people and how you can help them and benefit them and you should be able to sacrifice for your baby and love your baby and always obey God's commands instead of what you want and what you might desire because God's command so is thou shall not murder that if I were to get assaulted it would be God's plan for that man to come and assault me when in the Bible it states um, do not it literally says in the Bible do not rape it it, ra it. Rape is condemned in the Bible. That is rebellion against God. The, the man should never do that. That's evil. And we should put the rapist to death, but we shouldn't put the baby to death because the baby didn't commit the crime. The baby's innocent. We should love the baby and recognize the baby has the right to live because God says thou shall not murder. We always have to do what God says and not what our own opinions are. Well, I respect your opinion. Well, it's not my opinion. It's what God reveals in his word, the Bible. I respect your opinion. I'm going to still get ready for practice. Okay, I encourage you to follow Jesus Christ.